Honestly, the moment that comes to my mind is actually when I tore my ACL when I was wrestling Yaz Donnie. So every time he underhooks me, he grabs my singlet. The Olympics is something that everybody knows. The whole world stops. It makes me smile every day I look at it because this is this is uh, life's work. You know, I started wrestling when I was five years old, and this the very first time I wrote goals down. This was the number one goal I had on my list. 25 years of time and commitment by a lot of people. You know, not even myself, but you know, my family, my coaches. You know, just a lot of sacrifices along along the way. So this little medal represents so many things. You know. I was probably 10 years old when people were starting to say, oh, this kid's gonna win an Olympic gold medal someday, you know? So I had that goal, I talked about it, but, you know, other people, you know, thought that I had the ability to do that. Yeah, I mean, in the way that I was able to win it, you know, getting a takedown, a short time left. You know, I was losing, you know, with a minute, 20 seconds left, and it's just like continuing to work, to score, to score, to score, and 20 seconds on a restart, you know, was really my last opportunity to get that takedown to win the match, and I was able to get it. You know, so I kind of look back, it's kind of crazy. When I was in, in it, I never thought of, like, I am running out of time. You know, I was just so determined that I knew I was going to get it. I knew I was going to get it. But looking back and watching the match, you realize, like, that was my last shot. You know, if, that, if I don't execute that takedown, then, then I'm, I would lose that match. You know, so it's amazing when you train for that long and it comes down to that short of a window of execution, you know, and you have an opportunity once every four years to win, to win an Olympic gold medal. So it's uh, definitely special. You know, when you have an Olympic gold medal, it's just like, it's like that validation in any space that you go. If you say world champion, people I think, they know, they're like, oh, world champion, like kind of what is that? You know, in, in wrestling, being a world champion is equally as difficult as being an Olympic gold medalist. You know, you have double the people in your bracket, it's really hard, but the Olympics is something that everybody knows, the whole world stops, you know, and they know it's once every four years, the whole world understands what that means, you know? So I just think it's that kind of validation, you know, for the rest of your life, you know, you're be David Taylor, Olympic gold medalist, and that's just something that it, it opens up doors, it opens up opportunities. Not that you need that for that, but, um, you know, for the rest of my life, it'll be something that, uh, that I'll always have, you know, so that's pretty cool. Honestly, the moment that comes to my mind is actually when I tore my ACL and I beat the streets. I really thought that when I did that, that was a 2019 exhibition match, I was 10 months away from, from the day I tore that my ACL, I was 10 months away from what was gonna be the Olympic trials. I was the best in the world, um, I hadn't lost in a while, and I had to really make a hard decision, you know, am I gonna get surgery and potentially maybe not be back or to wrestle on a torn ACL? I decided to get the surgery and that time period was so hard for me because I was away from wrestling. Um, I didn't wanna lose ground on anybody, so I was just training my upper body, I was training everything I possibly could. So the day I was cleared, I didn't get on the mat until January that year. So, um, you know, I only really had a short period of time. I, I qualified the weight for, for the Olympics in March. I mean, that was an emotional time for me. Definitely was an emotional time for me, you know, to be able to like trust my, my people, my inner circle, and uh, continue to work and then come back obviously from that and be better than I was before. Is there enough space on that wall for a potential second one? Yeah, we'll make space. We'll make space, yeah. Another one in Paris look really good. We'll move this one over right here, put one right here, and that'll be pretty good. Is that the ultimate goal? Yeah, Paris in 2024. I think I've always, I always knew I was gonna compete through 2024. We'll reevaluate after 2024, but yeah, mine, my mind is set on that. You know, being a world champion this year, back in Serbia, and then Paris in 2024. So I've been there, I know what it takes to be there. It's not easy. I mean, obviously I'm getting a little bit older. My competition's getting a little bit younger, but um, I think, experience, determination, um, and just I want to do it. So this is the singlet from the finals in the Olympics. So this was a unique singlet because when I was wrestling Yaz Donnie, so every time he underhooks me, he grabs my singlet. They definitely practice that. So referees, you guys need to watch that for the future. He ripped my singlet. So I think in that time where I was like coming after him with that minute and 20 seconds left, he had underhooked me and was holding my singlet so when I was shooting. There's actually a picture of like my singlet, like him ripping it up off of my back basically. I've had a lot of people that want this singlet. I'm like, you're not getting that singlet, no way, no way. They're like, would you sell it? I'm like, no, I'm not selling that singlet.